Hi everybody, just wanted to do a short little tutorial about how to use the tape track in combination with the new firmware feature that you can directly address the line in of the OPC or the microphone. Uh, right now I have addressed uh, the line in and connected to an iRig uh, tube. This little uh, recording device, I also could have taken the internal microphone. I basically show you all the features you switch uh, between your input selector, you activate with the screen button and then you can switch on, for example, the internal microphone. It's indicated by a green light, now it's working here. Or the uh, external microphone, actually the, the line in level. It's really important that you use some device like the iRig 2, which is confirmed now by the developers which uh, puts down the line level into a microphone level. <clears throat> the voltage might be too high from your line level and you could destroy your analog uh, digital uh, converter here in the OPC. Therefore, don't use uh, the standard splitter cables. If you use it, be really careful and um, have your level as low as possible. Um, otherwise, the iRig 2 is definitely working fine. I have addressed it right now. There's a few more features like uh, you can also address uh, the USB audio. You can also have a constant monitoring of the USB audio with the zero. Right now it's not connected. And I basically wanted just to show you how the tape track works together with the line input or the microphone, microphone input to do some live sampling. And um, therefore, I just activate my tape track with track and tape to see which tracks are um, at the moment uh, directly put it into the tape track. I press the shift button and um, I could put all my instrument tracks into it. But in this case, I only want to use the control channel here, meaning I put the microphone input or the line input directly into my tape. Now I can program my tape as I want and just can run it and uh, see what happens to my signal which comes in the microphone. And of course I can address my tape then directly into my effects which I also can sequence. Right now I have uh, put it my tape into, I press again shift, into effects number one. And there I have a delay effect and I can also automate it. I just do it right now or play it live. So much about um, the tape track and uh, the line input. I think it's really a nice tool, for example, for live performances. You could also have like a direct feed, for example, with your vocals, going there into it and while performing and singing and playing your OPC, you can then just uh, do crazy stuff with your vocals. 
So have fun with your OPC. Uh, if you like this short tutorial, give me a thumb up. Or if you have uh, any questions or comments, just put them down there. Please also follow my channel. I would be happy. I quite often have some new tutorials, especially about the teenage engineering products, but also some others. So have a nice Sunday and enjoy your time with the OPC. Bye.